Go on buying. I forgot to um, load the battery, so <laughs> let's try to make this quick today. Hello and welcome. This is the Project Pile. My name is Gunnildug. I'm Iceland. I live in Iceland. This is my vlog, chatty, podcast type of thingy called the Project Pile because I have projects, they are in piles, and I just keep adding to the piles. Um, because self control. Don't know her. Um, I mostly talk about yarn, about knitting, crocheting, anything yarn and fiber related when I learn that because fiber and yarn is just interesting. Um, some of the things that people make with yarn and fiber is just mind boggling. I also talk quite a bit about the weather because I am your stereotypical middle aged Icelander and um, the weather is important to me. Currently, Fuck. <laughs> um, oh no. Mm -mm. Okay. It's not fuck fuck like down. It's fuck and like mid mountain up. And so, um, still a rather gorgeous day, honestly. Really clear considering. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and make this quick because I forgot to load the camera. <sighs> so, um, the. Main thing, I am inviting you. I invite you to laugh at me. Why? Um, because so I got th I'm three quarters of the way done with this gorgeous, gorgeous blanket. Um, it's called Spin Me Around, and the pattern is by Christina B something. I'm gonna and um, yet again, I'm going to link this pattern in the description box down below because. I love this pattern. It is keeping me sane throughout the summer. It is keeping me occupied. And this is my fourth blanket. I am planning to make, I think, three more. Um, mainly because I have the yarn. I have the time. I am slightly fixated on this pattern right now. But also because I know that there are two itty babies who are on their way for, who will be arriving in this world this autumn, this fall and uh, I I want to have a little selection of blankets to welcome them with so um <sighs> um but yeah um I said I was inviting you to come laugh at me why um I could have been done with way 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 more than this just last night um why did I stop I wanted to show you a knot. This is the first knot of uh, the entire packet. So I am making this yarn, this blanket with yarn from Ice Yarns that I've had in storage for. Ooh. Well, it's pretty yarn. It's from my treasure box. So um, it's probably been there for an awful long time, probably three years. It's called Dancing Baby. It's 100% premium acrylic. I love working with this yarn. First off, the colors are just fantastic. It's been... The yarn itself is just gorgeous to work with. I'm using a 4mm crochet hook. And this is the first knot. So I have to say, I have been really, really impressed with Ice Yarn's yarn. Most of them, because for the most part, they aren't not heavy. So that makes me really 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 happy because the less that you have to cut your and uh, cut your string and the less ends that you have to weave in the better mind you i am a spoiled privileged human being because i have a mother who demands my projects when they're done so she can weave in the ends for me give me a crown because i am a princess <laughs> um yeah oh another thing so Yesterday was a gorgeous day, so I decided to go out for a walk. It was just the nicest. It wasn't too warm and not too chilly. It's just perfect for a walk. So I go out um, and I decide to wear this cutie pie dress that I got secondhand in the Reykjavik when I went there the other day. Got this dress there as well. And I got these clothes and a cardigan that's in my closet. I got those three things. I wasn't going to go clothes shopping. I don't need any more clothes. I bought them because my friend took me along to show me a particular secondhand store and I just fell in love with this dress. So it's a little 
I mean, it's a little cutie, cutie pie is like particularly when you're wearing it because it's like it's really cute, it's really comfortable too. So I threw this. Um, let me show you this properly. Like this um, draped cardigan thingy or jacket thingy over top. So I was extremely comfortable. As soon as I exit the building and go around a corner, I see these cute, two adorable kindergartners. And um, being adorable, they stop and say hi. And I, of course, I say hi and keep going. I'm not out of earshot when I hear one of them say to the other, why? She's cute! And I'm like... I don't need to tell you that I've been floating on the clouds since yesterday because I, a kindergartner called me cute. That absolutely made my day just... <sighs> because it's really make you being called cute by a kindergartner. It's like... Absolutely not expected, but... So yeah, the plan is to continue working on the blanket now that I've shown you the extremely rare knot in it. Um, then I'm gonna work on pro probably the next blanket in the um, yarn has been... I've been keeping safe. Um, I do want to get working on the shawl. Might actually keep this a little bit as a treat because this is the last of the Fantasia and I uh, really really love the color so I'm really happy that it was in that box and I've been a little bit fixated on this mix bag as well I don't know maybe a shawl in the future because these lovely white this reddish brown burgundy kind of color and this Grayish brown. I don't know. Something about this color combination. It's a good color combination and uh, I like it. Uh, I want to make something out of it. Might be a shell, might be a scarf, might be a loosey goosey throw on sweater or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, mind you, I don't really need any more yarn for me the next years potentially purely because i have so much yarn and um i need to work on it oh, i mean i'm literally looking over there i'm like oh yeah that that's i'm gonna make a shawl out of that that's christmas ornaments that's a sweater that's a cardigan my life is good but yeah i think that's enough from me this weekend um my battery is dying and I don't know what to say. <laughs> Hopefully I'll remember to charge my camera and have something else to talk about <laughs> next weekend. <laughs> but until then, take care and I hope that the next week is lovely, lovely and wonderful. As wonderful as can be. Okay, so take care. See you later. Bless, bless.